Well, what's up? I didn't do an intro for this video. Me and Sam back there, uh, we're just gonna hook up and uh, do a little bit of fishing just this afternoon. Our uh, first of November, let's think today's the seventh. It was up like, in the seventies today. I didn't really have much hope, so I didn't think there was really gonna be catching much fish, but man, was I wrong. So check out all these fish that were biting. We did a little bit of wading, the water's a little bit cold, but it was worth coming. And main thing I was doing, I was going, I was trying out a new rod I got and a new setup. You know, I'm always testing out stuff like that, and um, I, I, I pretty much like it. So all the stuff that I talked about and I was, you know, tested out, I have all that information and uh, down below is links to stuff like that. So check out this video. Oh, 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 there we go. This guy was pecking at it. Hey, rock bass, what do you know? <laughs> no surprise there. All right, here's my first one. Yeah, he's pretty cold, but at least he's still moving around on the crawl there. So there's a guy, a little guy there. There's pretty little fish there, but um, I got a different setup here that I'm trying out. This is a, a new rod, just bought the Serpent. It's a medium, uh, 610, medium, extra fast. And uh, I love the Serpent rods. This is the only second one I have though. And this is a two piece one. And I got 12 pound braid on there and uh, the reel and everything. So, all right, I, I've been wanting to test this rod out some. So let's see if we can get anything a little bit bigger, give a little bit more of a test. But that felt pretty good. That was, that was pretty sensitive. And I felt that little guy peck it really uh, easily. And um, of course, with the braid helps out too with the sensitivity, but that, that felt pretty good. Well, well, I've only, I got something hitting on mine right now. Take it. Oh, got him. Hey, it's a bigger one, I think. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's pretty big, nine and a half inch. This, this is another two rock bass right in the same spot. I have to say, this rod's really sensitive. I'm really liking it. So, uh, get out of there. I think it hooked pretty good. Number two. Take it, fish. Got it. <laughs> that guy was hitting at it, hitting at it. Another rock bass. Number three. Another rock bass. <laughs> That's the only thing we can get the hit so far. Pretty guys. Oh, look how I hooked him through the mouth. He, he was just biting at it, biting at it, biting at it. Oh, what is that a bass? There's a good fish. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Eat it, eat it, eat it. He's looking at it. Come on. Got him. <laughs> that was awesome. It was, I watched that guy eat it. Nice. He, he picked it up. Good thing I saw him. He picked it up and he swam with it and then he like took it all the way in. Polarized glasses. Yeah. <laughs> There's a chunky largemouth. Looks like he's probably been caught before, but that's pretty cool. All right, I see him. There's a little bass hanging out. Might, might be too small. Put the crawl right in front of his face. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's bigger than I thought. Oh, came off. That's a good spotted bass. I like the back of these kind of pools like this. A lot of times there's some fish hanging out that you might not, you might miss. They'll be hanging out right in the back of these pools. Just kind of sitting here waiting for anything to filter through. Oh, oh, there's something. Yep, see, there he is. Just like I was talking about. Little large mouth. That's why I didn't walk way up there and start casting over there at the bank, like looks really good, but they can be right here in front of you. There's one. Rock bass. Dude, the fish are really actually a lot more active than I thought. I thought we were gonna come down here and not really catch much at all. Um, but 
yeah, working this thing. I may try and change up lures here in a minute, but it's definitely getting them. Come on, take it. Oh, man. Something over there hammered it. All right, this is what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna go ahead and change to the Helgramite, which is one of my favorite like go-to lures, because I, I wanna test it out on this rod. I, I don't know if this rod's too stiff to, to feel it, because it's a lighter lure. It's perfect for this lure. It's a little bit heavier, you know. I got 12 pound braid on my piece of Viper 2, which they've, they've changed that to the Viper X, but um, 12 pound, and I got an eight pound leader, and it's been great for this. So I'm gonna change up lures and just to try it out. Take it, take it. Got it. There we go. There's that rock bass I think I missed earlier. I can feel the slightest tap on these fish. This is really good. Rock bass. Let them, they're, they're, they're slow to come find it and hit it. Not moving real fast. Sometimes rock bass are like super aggressive, but that everything slows way down. There's one. Got it. They're loaded up over there in that spot. What is that? Hey, well, <laughs> I think it's a spotted bass. Wow, you got a. Wow, a big old crappie. Nice. <laughs> That's a big crappie. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. I'll get your picture. There we go. That looks like a, that's a fish right there. Oh, yep, yep. Take it, take it, take it. He hit it. Something hit it. Come on, take it. Got it. Rock bass. That tree is loaded with fish. Oh, that dude hammered it. Next cast. That guy just took off with it. I'm gonna get a picture of this guy. I keep forgetting to get pictures of fish. Sometimes it just pays to go do a little waiting, even in November. A lot of people have really shut down their fishing and they're, you know, the water's too cold or this or that. The water's not that cold today. And it sure paid off to get out here, yeah. get a little wet. Yeah. Got, here we go. What is that? I think it's a big rock bass. Skate you on in here. Nice. Chunky rock bass. A fish? If it is, not very big. Hey, rock bass. Okay, and I switched lures again because I'm. This is all about trying out different things today. And um, this is a new, well, that's a small, <laughs> wow, that guy had this thing in him. But this is a, uh, I don't know, I can't remember what it's called. I something, um, Nico bait, call it the, the eye worm. It's just like a straight little old worm here. And um, I got on a weedless jig head and I've been wanting to try it out because I'm like, that looks really good. And um, got a rock bass, so. If you can get a rock bass, you can get a something else. Maybe that, no, no, yeah, that was the one. North Chickamauga Creek. Oh yeah. First cast. Well, I couldn't get anything from this spot. We're gonna get downstream and uh, just maybe one or two more spots where it gets dark here. 